Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. I thought I have to start the vlog quickly, otherwise I just know that I won't vlog today if I say, oh, I'll film the intro later because we're about to leave the house. We're going to hot yoga. We're gonna do a Hatha class and a meditation. I haven't been before. Ty has, he says it's super chill and really nice. So I thought that would be a great way to start the day considering I've got a lot of admin and I think I'm gonna be sitting down for most of the day. Uh, so we're gonna head out. We actually have our car in the shop. We're getting a service and getting the brake calendars just double checked. Is that what it is? Calipers. Calipers? Yeah, and the brake rotors are warped. The brake rotors are warped. So essentially he was like, it's safe to drive right now, but you need to get these looked at because they were new brakes when we got the car. I don't know, something was fitted not quite right, but it it's wasn't. Pretty, it's pretty common that when we put the brakes on, the steering wheel goes. It can sometimes shake, yeah. And so he said, it's not gonna not break for you. It's totally safe, but yeah, we'll, we're getting that fixed. So we don't actually have our car, so we're gonna walk to the gym. It is raining, but we'll be fine. It's just a little shower. And then we're gonna have a little coffee day and then we're gonna walk home. We are just walking home from the gym. What did you think of the class? It was awesome. It was good. Yeah, it was I good, needed hey? that recovery. I think when I was in the class, I realized that Hatha, because I feel like I haven't done Hatha in a while, that's probably my favorite practice of yoga. I always think that it's yin, but then yin is just holding poses for four minutes, whereas Hatha is chill, but you flow more. Yeah. But it's not too like intense. Maybe the back bends were a little bit too intense for me, but other than that, oh, other than that, should we other head up here? Uh, we headed home, we just stopped for a coffee, nice wee coffee, got our loaf of bread that I showed before, which I was excited about. So they had day olds where they're selling it for 40% off. And so it's still pretty fresh. It was just yesterday's loaf. And that will definitely be better than supermarket bread. So I think, there's talks of avocado toast. Yeah, they did that at egg. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm actually not hungry yet, so I think I'm gonna crank it to some work. And then in sort of 45 minutes, or whenever I feel that hunger kick in, I'm gonna eat something. I think it's because I have drunk so much water this morning, had a pretty big dinner last night and was snacking until late. I was with the girls and we were doing a Vanderpump uh, watch party, <laughs> if you will. Uh, we did like a double header, watched two episodes of Vanderpump Rules. And so, yeah, I was just having snacks and eating a little bit later than I usually would. So, not too hungry yet. I want to eat when I'm hungry, listen to my hunger cues, listen to my fullness cues. And I'm kind of itching to get into some work because we've had a nice chill start to the day. Well, it would be only like 8.30 now though, right? Yeah. Still quite early. So, not... <laughs> For us, just because we get up so early, we're like, wow, this is a, it's a chill start to the day.
Okay, I've just finished doing a little bit of work. I think I'm getting a pimple on my upper lip, which we don't love. Uh, sorry if you can hear the dryer in the background, it's pretty noisy. Um, I'm gonna head out shortly. I need to go to Shoppers to pick up something. Um, Shoppers is a pharmacy or a drugstore, if you will, just if you don't live in Canada. I realize that's not a international brand. I'm gonna go to Shoppers shortly, get outside. I think it stopped raining, so it might be nice to stretch the legs. You would have seen that I got on my treadmill desk briefly. I've not been on it as much because of my ankle. Uh, we aren't playing this weekend, which will be a nice little rest uh, because uh, something to do with the umpires. I don't know. There's not enough umpires available. So we're going to, uh, I guess, tag it on to the end of the season. So we'll still play the same amount of games because you obviously pay for the season. So anyway, uh, it will just be good to have that rest because it's really netball that's causing my ankle and my knee to have the problems with all of the running, all of my other training. I've not been doing anything high impact. Um, but I do have an exciting announcement. I've decided, and I've thought about this for a long time, but I've decided that I'm going to start my own Patreon. I'm gonna start a Patreon. I'm thinking three videos a month and it's going to be $5 a month. And within that, you're gonna get one vlog, whether it's a daily vlog or it's across, like all videos will be, uh, you know, longer than 25 minutes. So one vlog, uh, one cooking video or, and with just like chatting and cooking. Uh, and then the third one will just be at random, or maybe we could do some polls where people can kind of say the sort of videos that they want to see. Uh, I'm not sure if there's much, you know, want or need for it, uh, but I just, I love the tightness of the community that we've built. I know I'm in contact with quite a few of you outside of just comments on YouTube. So yeah, if that's something that interests you, I'm going to post the link down below and I will be posting my first video very soon. Apples are the absolute best in the apple. Yum. Ty's just doing the laundry. I'm going to take this bag to the op shop. We do need to mop this entryway. Oh, we're wearing twinsy shoes, look. Mm. Mine are so dirty, but I can't part with them. They're the most comfortable shoes I own. I love them. They look a little bit what are those at the moment, but they're my favorite. I just walked past the place where mum and dad stayed while they were here in Canada. And it made me sad because, you know, for however long it was, six weeks, that was their home. And we went there a lot for dinner and we spent a lot of time there having teas in the afternoon. and. It was a little cozy haven. I think they actually really loved the apartment that they stayed in and they will stay there again when they come back. They got the lady's number so they don't have to book it through Airbnb. They can just book it through her uh, for when they do choose to come stay again. But yeah, it just made me miss them. My sister is actually going to New Zealand next month in March. She's going for a few weeks with James. Um, we're not going this trip. Ty's basically in constant work and constant contracts until end of August, potentially extended into September. So not a lot of travel for us outside of Canada, but I will be doing my trip with Taylor within Canada. And we're just planning and booking. Um, somebody just being an absolute egghead and wolf whistling me. We love that. Like, I don't know where, I don't even know if you can hear me. So maybe I'll talk about this when I get back. But like, I don't know where people, get the nerve to just make someone feel uncomfortable. I used to be obsessed with this brand. I don't really know why I stopped using Honest by Jessica Alba. I really like the product. Price point is, it can get a bit expensive, but it wasn't that expensive, I swear, back in 2020. Uh, but I stopped using it when I started using the good molecules. But anyway, I just thought, shout out to Honest, great brand. I feel like I should get Thai little Easter treat. So we've got all of the lint stuff here. These are so cute, these carrots. Um, we've got like a milk chocolate bunny, dark chocolate bunny, hazelnut, or white chocolate. Uncertain which would be his absolute fave. So this is what we came for. This magenta Bondi Sands tan. <laughs> Yoink, I've had this one here, which I liked, but apparently this one is better for my skin tone. I have finally showered after hot yoga and I'm just about to meet Ty. He is coming back from a workout class and he walked there. Uh, 
and which you're probably thinking, didn't you guys already do a workout class this morning? We did hot yoga, but it was super chill. So Ty wanted to lift some weights. And now I'm just putting together a little snacky for him because we're going to go pick up the car. We're going to walk to go pick up the car. So while he's walking, he can kind of snack on it and then pick it up together and walk home. So I've just put some rice crackers in here for him. And then I've got this massive thing of Costco nuts. This is the Kirkland mix. Uh, honestly, the best mix that I've had in terms of uh, got all my favorite nuts in it. We've got cashews, almonds, pistachios, and pecans. I actually read that in French at the bottom. Not that it's hard, like cajou, almonds, pistache, pecan. Is that how you say it? Um, but anyway, I'm just going to put a few little nuts in here as well. And then I've also got him a Lara bar. Squish that all in. This is a Ninja Creamy container. I think these are the best containers. I've already had, I didn't film it, but I had some more bread. I had um, peanut butter and banana and hemp heart on toast. And then I also had some popcorn and I definitely snacked on some of these nuts. I can't stop myself. Although I can stop myself. It's funny because I know that it will cause me a lot of discomfort if I eat too many nuts. Like without too much information, you guys know the setup, no colon. So it doesn't, it's not a high acidic environment. It doesn't break it down fully. So the nuts kind of, if you, they're not chewed properly or you eat too much, it's a bit of a rough situation. That's all I'll say. <laughs> So it's like seven o'clock, Ty's got a shaving cut, he just shaved. And- Cause I need to. Cause he needs to, he's a hairy man. <laughs> I'm a hairy man. Ty has got rehearsal, but his rehearsal doesn't start till eight. And you might be thinking that's a really random time to start, but it started at 6.30, but he's not needed until eight. So no use him sitting around, but it means it's gonna be a late night for him and we're kind of just chilling. We've had our dinner. And yeah, I'm probably gonna sign off for the night now and I'll continue in the morning. Hello and good morning. We might be slightly, no, it's still morning. It's about 11.30. I did some work this morning and then I had a FaceTime call with Taylor, which was really exciting because we basically booked all of our trip for when she gets here in April. Uh, so all of our accommodation is booked and we've paid some of it not all of it but broken down all the costs and we booked high tea at the fairmont in lake louise which i'm really excited about and it was just fridays are the day that we typically catch up because she works from home and when i'm working from home in the morning she's kind of wrapping up her day so we just carve out some time for one another it's kind of our ritual i'm having a morning coffee and she'll be having you know, a tea, or depending on how late I get her, maybe a wine. Whew. Slightly out of breath. Uh, but yeah, I did some work this morning. Then I went to the gym with Tybee, went to Hot Pilates. And then I had to continue on doing something. And I was doing a bit of work and I got a message from Ty. I left my phone in my locker. I got a message from Ty that said, I've pre-ordered and paid for a smoothie for you downstairs. Uh, an oat berry smoothie. So it's waiting for you and you just have to say your name, which I just thought was so cute. And here it is. I'm really enjoying it, but it's so cold right now that I'll probably scull it back once I get home. I've got to jump onto a call in 20 minutes, but I'm probably only about 10 minutes away from home. And then I can sit this during, during my call, during my meeting. Oh, we are out of breath. We are definitely his house hosting it. Such a beautiful day and I, once I finished this call, I did say to myself that I was going to wrap up my day early afternoon this Friday to take Friday afternoon off and Saturday, Sunday. And I think I'll be able to do that. Fridays are typically a chiller day for me. The work day is done and honestly, I was just gonna sit 
in my apartment for the rest of the night. Ty has got rehearsal and I was going to just read my book and have a bath. And I'm still gonna do those things, but I was thinking about what I wanted for dinner. And honestly, we went out for dinner once this week and we also got takeout on Tuesday night, which is not like us. We used to get takeout a lot more frequent, especially during COVID because it was one of those things I don't know if you felt the same, depending on obviously where you experienced lockdown, but food was the only kind of different and exciting thing. So we'd often, because we weren't spending our money on anything else, we weren't going places, we weren't traveling, we weren't going out. And so we would order takeout or order Uber Eats a lot more frequently because it was something just exciting and different and it would punctuate if it was the weekend or middle of the week or whatever. So we just don't, typically do that as often as we used to. We sort of cook most of the time at home and then probably like sometimes I could go easily a week without getting takeout but anyway I'm going off on a tangent. All of that just to say that sometimes I can't justify getting Uber Eats or DoorDash because it's just so expensive and I just feel like I can make something better that I would enjoy more and not be so expensive. These are the goods here. The stuff Gnocchi, sweet potato, regular potato, and then there's also cauliflower something as well. And here's dinner. So I ended up getting the cauliflower gnocchi, and I've got some tomato -y sauce with it, and then I've just made pretty much the most basic salad. I thought I had cucumber, it turns out I don't, but honestly, I just felt like the fresh crunch. So this is what we're working with, and I added some nutritional yeast, of course. Update I'm watching Love is Blind, and I still haven't showered and I'm having an inch creamy. What's on my spoon? Uh, what's on my spoon? Ooh. I am already in bed with my skincare done and I'm reading my book. My tummy is feeling a little bit funny, maybe from something I had earlier. I've been having a bit of heartburn today. I can't pin down to what it is because there's nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't have too much coffee today. I haven't eaten anything. Like the only thing that's different than what I usually have is the smoothie that Ty got for me. And I can't imagine, unless it's the protein powder that's in it, it's supposed to be vegan protein powder. I don't react well with whey or anything like that. But I don't know. It's just, it's sore. It's bloated. It's feeling tight and tender. So I know that it's just going to take time and I definitely need to put some heat on it. I've got my plugged in heating pad here. So maybe I'll plug that in or I'll put the wheat bag on it or something because that helps. I did have a bath as well. And yeah, I'm just going to rehydrate, drink a ton of water and just read my book and relax. And there's no pressure for me to fall asleep. It's like what I said in the last vlog. Ty is at rehearsal. He won't be home till later. So I'm just going to chill in bed. I kind of get in the evenings, I, I watch a little bit of TV, but I get pretty sick of watching TV or like scrolling on my phone or anything. I just, I definitely get way more enjoyment and relaxation out of reading or catching up with a friend. I just FaceTimed a friend before as well. Uh, it's Saturday in New Zealand. Yes, it's Friday here, Saturday in New Zealand. So it's easier to contact my friends and just know that they'll be available and that they won't be at work. Because New Zealand is, at the moment, three hours behind the day ahead. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. And I'll have my link to my Patreon down below. I believe I'll have one video of my three uploaded already. And I think I'm going to do a bonus one this month. But if you want to comment on any video ideas and you want to join that community, love to have you over there. Again, absolutely no pressure. This is just something... Like, if it's just me and a couple of other people hanging out over there, I create these videos because I want to. Um, and But it's just, yeah, I'm excited to have a separate, more kind of uh, private platform as well. I'll still, of course, be sharing here on YouTube. I know I haven't shared as much recently. And I, I could come up with some excuses, but it's just, it's just been busyness and it's just been not committing to following through I might start recording in a day and then not finish so I'll get better at that but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next